Good evening, welcome to ITV News and thank you for watching. This is Wednesday night's calendar. Here's what's coming up on the programme this evening. But first tonight, to the calls from NHS staff and carers on the front line of the COVID crisis for a long-term investment into mental health services. Meanwhile, it's been revealed that at least 180 frontline health and care workers have now died after nursing people. We realised that we had a very important job to do. People were going to be looking to us as familiar faces at six o'clock every night not only to tell them exactly what was happening and to tell them accurately, but they wanted it from people that they trusted. There, if Emma Dale's continuing, all is well with the world. I've got a few messages here. Uh, Pam, hello from Huddersfield. Hi, Pam. Hi to Jackie as well. Uh, Chrissy, Chrissy Barrett in Sheffield. It's lovely to hear from you. Hello, Stephen. Thanks very much and keep sending me those messages because I'm finding this all very weird. I'm not used to broadcasting on my laptop. Well, to say that Jack Charlton was a giant of the game is an understatement. The pinnacle of his career, of course, was winning that World Cup final alongside his brother Bobby in 1966. But that was as a player, as a manager. He was at Sheffield Wednesday, of course, but he's best known for taking a previously unheralded side, the Republic of Ireland, and taking them to two World Cups. But there was much more to Big Jack than that. The mining industry was a harsh male environment, but at its heartbeat lay a strong breed of Yorkshire women running homes and families in the pit villages here. And as the 1984-85 miners' strike escalated in ferocity, those women stepped forward, determined to protect their families' livelihoods. You join me live in Burstall in West Yorkshire, which is tonight in mourning over the shocking death of his MP Joe Cox, who died on the streets of her own constituency just behind where I stand this afternoon. You join me here tonight in the small town of Tickhill near Doncaster in South Yorkshire in what I can only describe as blizzard conditions. Tonight, as serial killer's correspondence, the Yorkshire Ripper Peter Sutcliffe has written to Calendar, reducing his murderous reign of terror to one chilling quote. I did some bad things. This letter sent from the top security prison where he's being held to Christine also categorically denies claims that he attacked two men, killing one of them, before he turned his attention to women. Peter Sutcliffe, Britain's most notorious killer of the 20th century, has died in hospital, age 74. What do you think Vicky and Sarah would make of their dad today at the end of all this? <sighs> Tough question. Probably think I'm a bit of a silly old fool. Um, I'd like to think that I've done my best for them, you know, in the event. I'd like to think that um, that I've done my best to make them proud. Had some happy times there. Those qualities are still very much in evidence today as Hannah recalls that time when everyone knew her name. Did you ever wish that they'd left you alone and that you could have carried on being anonymous? Um, no, I haven't, I haven't, no regrets on that score. So as you can see, as soon as a van of aid arrives here on the outskirts of the jungle, everybody comes out and swarms around it, trying to grab what they can from inside. And then a chain is formed, a human chain of aid, passing everything through to feed the people inside. Before the terrorism, what was your life like? What did you Better life. A happy life? Yes. How did you get here? They walked six hours from Bulgaria to Croatia. You walked yes. with the two little children? Yes. Because it's great for Yorkshire, but it's also a brilliant advertisement for our United Kingdom. It, it I think is. it will draw... Well, there was actually an attempt, wasn't there, at some point, to say, let's not call it the Tour de Yorkshire, let's call it the Tour de England. Let's, let's sideline Yorkshire a little no, bit. No, no, I don't accept that for a minute. But what does this say to the people of this region in particular? In Yorkshire and Lincolnshire, the majority of people voted to leave and they just want out of the EU. Are you saying that they're stupid? Of course not. Now, Labour didn't fare too well in these local elections, and your majority last time was only 3,500, just over that. Labour must be very worried about how this new by-election could go. I'm Christine Talbot, and I'm live in Huddersfield for the biggest party in town. As you can see behind me, the atmosphere is absolutely electric. The team are coming onto the stage. As we speak, they're just down here on the steps. Let's just take a look. Hello, everyone. Give us a wave for Calendar. Hey. 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 Hey.
Well, when I was asked to host tonight, I didn't think twice because it's so special. I mean, the children here tonight come from all walks of life, but they don't really realise how good and how special they are. Steady, ste steady on. <clears throat> oh, OK. Oh, what's, oh, hang on. Oh, oh my, God. my goodness If me. I've got your card... And you haven't stopped biting there. I have not. And, and I you've have got not. The, I have. You've got his. I've got it. I have thought of a name for that podcast, yep. The Daily Dogma. Yeah, I thought they could just play John Mitchell to them. That would <laughs> go to sleep. <laughs> that keep them quiet. See, this is the sort of behind the scenes area of Emmerdale that you don't usually get to see behind the village. And Mike and I are very excited because we've both got our own Winnie Bagos. Christine Talbot, news reporter. And in here, you can see my costume but the only thing is i'm a bit worried because there's a lot of waterproof clothing in here and yes it was very wet it was really really good fun but much harder than i expected and when there was another hill after that flaming slide where you squirted me <laughs> with cold water i had a job to do christine you that's did, you know i was here well. on a specific job <laughs> but i'd well. just oh, like to say thank you, thank you. That's, oh thank, thank you. you that's that's really kind <laughs> lovely